Hello, and welcome to The Scott Mize Show, a podcast focused on health, diet, bodybuilding, and philosophy. I interview experts, doctors, coaches, and N equals one case studies to answer your questions about improving health, achieving your best physique, and making sustainable progress. We'll cover topics from carnivore and ketogenic diets, to bodybuilding, to life philosophy, and everything in between. Enjoy the show. This episode is brought to you by LMNT Electrolytes. This month, we're switching it up with an exclusive offer that's only for VIP LMNT partners, including Carnivore Cast listeners. You can now receive this free sample pack along with any regular purchase when you use my custom link, which is provided in the show notes or my Instagram link in bio. That's drinklmnt.com forward slash Carnivore Cast, all one word. And as I said, I'll include the link in the show notes. LMNT electrolytes are convenient evidence-based and delicious and get yours today to help support the show. Thank you. Barton Scott at Ask Barton returns to the Carnivore cast. Last time we spoke about his health story, how he got into nutrition and biochemistry, his way of eating, biohacks, and more. Check that out if you missed it. Barton is a biochemist that has used his background along with being a nutritionist and a researcher to found upgraded formulas. Barton is passionate about helping people combat the stressors of daily life, the toxicity of the modern world, the utter lack of nutrients, and the mineral and other nutrient absorption issues that we all face. He has made his mission to reduce suffering by increasing the public's understanding of the human body's interrelationships in these areas. Welcome back to the show, Barton. Hey, it's great to be back. Thank you. Um, So a few topics we wanted to touch on today. Um, One was around technology and the technology you've created um, and how it's increasingly important in today's world and some of the issues we're facing. Um, can you get into that? Yeah, certainly. So the the thing that I, I realized and then said about figuring out was that the minerals and supplements in general that I was taking, I was getting my, I was born to older parents, I was getting my my mother well too. Uh, she had a series of different diseases uh, that were, were really labeled as diseases and were essentially just the body breaking down because it had too much of some things and not enough of others. And we we figured that out with a hair analysis um, after spending thousands, like tens of thousands on, on, well, her and also at the time and particularly after she passed, myself too just lots of short-term stuff like uh, or lots of uh, short-term memory loss and lots of just struggling to find solutions. So that was part of it. And then the other part of it was, all right, these products aren't absorbing. So I studied chemical engineering and what you really learn there is the, you get a minor in chemistry, math, and a lot of physics. And then you, you apply that to a very real world application of building processes. And that might not sound like very sexy, but it's how the world runs. It's how we build everything from like refining facilities to like any product you ever use that has plastics or anything else. I mean, it's it's all all made that. And as much as we might say, oh, we don't like plastics or anything, it's like, it's so essential. Like they're, they're part of almost everything we do, unfortunately. So. If we're ever going to innovate out of that, we also need those people in that that world. And uh, I really just chose it because I wanted to challenge a hers a hers degree, and um, I I struggled a lot with by, uh, thanks to taking medication I didn't need. I believe no one needs like Vyvanse, Adderall, and that was we can touch on that later too, and how that affects personality over time because it becomes habit, and how all the all the things we're talking about today actually also affect that. So it's um, I'm personality that that is. So yeah, it's it's really interesting to think about uh, this this path and the technology. So it is founded and grounded in using nanotechnology equipment to ensure that the process itself does the work of digesting that your gut would have to which is amazing, right, to think about. So we really don't need your gut to do any work at all. Um, You know, you could be missing entire 
you know, feet of intestine and missing the stomach. And you'd still be able to absorb these things. Um, some of our products are in capsule, many are liquid, but the format is such that all you have to do is break down the capsule and that's which you can do with, you know, very easily, just like a, a moist environment. And uh, that is so huge because it allows us to remineralize the body. And yeah, the body is a battery, essentially. It's a voltage. Uh, we talk about our vibration, which is really a measure of voltage in the body. If you're feeling like you're, you're very, you, know, you have a very buoyant mood, then that buoyant mood is by definition, a measure of, of voltage being higher than it is sometimes. And that's impossible to achieve without the right uh, electrolytes, with the, without the right charges in the body from these, these, we could say minerals, but really they're elements, they're pieces of the periodic table, and they're non-negotiable. There's absolutely no way to get around it. So I, I definitely agree with the way that you lay out the show here and um, just the diet perspective. And, you know, despite all of those good choices, we still need this entire approach. And the reason why is because the soil is so depleted as, you know, as, as many of us know, at least hopefully, hopefully many of us know at this point, but what are we really doing about this? I had this conversation with Chris Kresser probably five years ago and we agreed on everything except the solution. And, and he was like, well, yeah, you know, just supplements like, well, but you know, that the supplements aren't absorbing very well. So what are you like, what's the, what solution do you have there? Like, what are you doing? What's your thought? And I get that, like, that's where most people stop. And uh, I just knew there had to be a different way because to the extent that we can remineral well, measure test and remineralize the body, we can achieve youth, we can achieve vitality, we can look younger, we can age more gracefully, and you know, just all these things. Like I, I mean, I'm more fit now at 35 and you know, just happier and just everything works better <laughs> than it did at 25 when I had a, so many of these issues. So I'm super grateful for that. And I, I don't say that to brag, I could care less. I mean, I'm, I'm super grateful, but uh, it's really just about just letting people know that that's possible. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that's super interesting. And what what are some of the applications you've seen with um, upgraded formula customers or, or people you've um, recommended the test to and, and then being able to correct some of those deficiencies? Yeah, that's been really amazing to see. I mean, there's, there's so many different uh, stories there. One that jumps out is a friend, my friend Eric, who um, just competed in the Ironman, the world the worlds uh, in Kona, and he had run 12 Ironmans before, never made it to, you know, the big, the big event. And we worked on all of his minerals and he was, he was using upgraded charge during the race, upgraded magnesium, the key from cramping is 104 degrees. They're qualifying in Idaho. And he passed the number seven and 10 guys in the world to qualify uh, for the world championship. And he said it was the most fun he's ever had racing Ironman, and which is amazing. I love that. And uh, and he, so he, yeah. And with Worlds, he probably would have done amazing. He actually got kicked in the face on the swim and like lost uh, a lot of time, as you might imagine. That's <laughs> uh, he was doing really well. He was doing really well, and it you know it's just yeah. So uh, some of those things you you know are difficult to plan for, but um or have contingencies around so so yeah that was just like really just fixing his electrolytes and he said you know even the top people in the sport they don't understand what you know he's like you'd be surprised but they, they truly don't they're still stuck in 1990 in so many ways and it's hard to believe but it's actually true it's like i've seen it up close so so yeah that's one um another was uh upgraded mood um so well, I guess the the other one, upgraded tea, which is a testosterone product. It's actually for men and women. Uh, Eric also, so he's in his thirties. He boosted his testosterone roughly three hundred points, maybe a little more, in ninety to one hundred days, uh, taking just that product, and he was already taking the 
you know, many of our minerals. And I mean, he's a very, very healthy guy. Um, you know, mid thirties, I don't know his exact age, but yeah. So, so that's significant. Mine is probably, honestly, I haven't tested my, my blood since I started taking it. Um, but I'm sure it's really high. I was already at almost a thousand um, before I started taking the product, and it, it's significantly higher now. I don't, so I, I'll be curious to see what it is. But it's plenty. <laughs> the cool thing about that product, uh, Graded Tea, is that it's just good for you. It's good for men. It's good for women. Um, women, as you might know, you know, have a way more testosterone in their body than estrogen which may be a shock to some people but it it's it's foundationally so important because testosterone um, is one of the first um, one of the one of the first hormones to really go downhill for women as well so you'll see that by 30 or so many women are on testosterone placement or they would be good candidates for it and this this helps you avoid testosterone replacement, like full stop. I've had uh, my friend Tim Gray, who runs uh, Health Optimization Summit, say that he stopped taking his as well and just started taking upgraded tea because he was taking both at the same time. He's like, wow, I, he's like, I feel totally different. So he just stopped taking the the other. Um, and you'll find that most hormone doctors just, and this is just a great like broad thing to understand. Most hormone doctors that are supposed experts in that area um, have unfortunately uh, latched on to hormone replacement as a great thing to sell, but they don't really understand it. They just understand the, the medication side of it and not the foundational what goes into building good hormones. And when I've spoken on stage uh, a lot last year, I, I would ask, you know, by a show of hands, can anyone name the building blocks of any like any of these hormones we're talking about and invariably not very 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 many hands go up and one thing that people leave out are elements so elements minerals you can't build good estrogen testosterone progesterone any of those things so of course your testosterone is going to be low when you have you know and you're you're going to have brain fog or you're going to be kind of lackadaisical and uh, especially if after sex and you're, if you're depleted uh, as a guy, that's easy. That, that happens super easily. So being able to have that low refractory period, um, it's an aphrodisiac for women too. So like just blood flow, but that, I mean, there's 52 clinical studies on the product. It's amazing. Um, so that, that one, I mean, there's lots of stories I could share on that one. And then there's others too that we could go into. Yeah, how did you how did you formulate it or come up with it, and like what um, made you want to build a product that's different than the existing? You touched on it kind of there, but differences versus a lot of the existing testosterone oriented products. Right, right. So the the thing that I noticed there was just that um, you know there was not really there was like some ultra aggressive. Um, testosterone products that women really, I, I felt like wouldn't be very balanced for women. And then there, yeah, I, I wanted to create something where, for example, women could take one capsule, men could take two, maybe women would take it three times a week and men would take it five times or so. Um, but I, I wanted to use the, the thing I hadn't really seen done was looking at all the research and finding the clinical doses of the trademarked product. So not just doing uh, she legit, but doing the, the purified form. Right dose using the actual right sourcing, um, not just using grape seed extract, but using a particular one, not just using um, a maca, but using a particular one, not just using um, you know, just on and on and on, but using the exact one that's been studied a lot because, you know, they'll, you know, plenty of companies will reference studies and they'll say like, oh, well, you know, we use this herb and this herb has these studies, but they won't use the actual sourcing style and procedure. Maybe it's water processed, maybe it's, you know, extracted in a different manner. So it, it's, so using like the best of the best, if you were going to make it for like, 
the Dalai Lama and you know, you're just trying to make it as perfect as possible. That's, that's really what, what I enjoy doing. So that's, um, that's why this one works so well. And it's, it, it boosts your mood too. It kind of levels you out. So that, that's really cool. Um, I think another story that is pretty close to home is, uh, upgraded mood. And this is, this is built to obviously for mood as the name would dictate boost serotonin levels. It does a lot of really interesting things uh, for the body. And, you know, with one thing I'll say is with all of our products, whether it's our magnesium product or this product, the form does not matter. You can throw out everything that you fastidiously learned about the form or this or that. Uh, with our net technology equipment, we bend those quote unquote rules because the way to think about it really is, so let's say there's a hundred steps in the digestive process. This is really simple. So if, as you're listening to this, just really visualize this, it's going to save you a lot of time. I'm sure people will ask you this, um, you know, because if you try these products, you will have great results, like full stop, but you'll, you'll wonder, you'll go like, Oh, well, I thought I was supposed to use this form of magnesium for sleeping and this form for cramps and whatever. So the form doesn't matter with any of our products. Um, and the reason why that is, is because we get the particle size small enough that it's just like step 100 out of 100 when you're eating food. Your body, think about it. Does your body ask for any particular form of any nutrient? Magnesium, potassium, lithium, iodine, any of that? The answer is absolutely. It does not when it comes from food. Um, and when it's digested uh, properly. Now, most people have a broken digestive system, at least partially broken. So, so that's one thing to really understand. Now, in upgraded mood, we have, for example, magnesium, our chromium, um, you know, some fulvic acid to drive it in even better. And, uh, and lithium, lithium is not a drug, by the way. It's, a, it's an element, again, that, that tricky you know, table that a lot of people have trauma over probably from ninth grade chemistry and they're going, oh my God, do I have to remember all of that? Or, you know, so all of those things have charges and they're all really important to the body. In fact, so before I tell that story, I just want to say, if you can look the study up, it's really interesting, depending on where you live in the country, you may need this even more. So what they found in the U.S. were the areas that had the most um lithium or well you should say this way the least lithium in the groundwater had the highest rates of depression and suicide so low lithium high rates of depression and suicide and obviously if you're on the other end like the lower end of that spectrum you're just not feeling as good you're and you're kind of wondering why like is it is it me is it my relationship am i not getting enough sun am i not eating right and you're probably maybe you're doing literally all those other things but if you don't have lithium it's huge. It's very, very important. So I put other other things in there that help us cope. The, the story there is um, my, my previous ex-girlfriend, this was two years ago, roughly. She, um, I didn't know that she was on anxiety medication for, to begin with. That would have been a good thing to know. Uh, but she stopped, <laughs> she stopped, um, that's kind of like, yeah, I and mean, she stopped taking her anxiety medication because she was taking an early batch of upgraded mood. And she she would just like get overwhelmed pretty easily. So like, I mean, we're a very close relationship. We're very much in love. And uh, we just come back from traveling in Mexico and she had not taken her anxiety medication that whole time and she had been fine. And she'd been taking what is now upgraded mood. And had, you know, a lot of benefit, and was, you know, happy, fine, and then ran out shortly thereafter. I think within a week of running out, she just like broke, broke it off, like out of nowhere. It's to this day, probably the easiest relationship I've had. And um, it just ended. And she, her thought, her, what she said was she felt like she didn't quote, have the capacity for, you know, someone else in her life. And it, that is how we feel when we're on anxiety medication. We need it. 
um, is that we don't feel as safe, really safe in our bodies the way we could feel, you know, it's just, it's like, you, you can just look at someone's posture and, you know, the, the posture of someone that just got, got done surfing in the ocean and now they're relaxing on the beach and they're, they're happy. Like that person has a lot more of a cup that can fill up and um, versus someone that just feels incredibly anxious, even though they just got a great workout in, they slept well, they had great sex, they, um, you know, went to yoga, they sweated it out, you know, they ate well, they took care of themselves, and yet they still feel anxious. You know, it's just a gnawing sense. They meditate. Um, you know, it, I just look at it from the perspective of, I do all of these things. I don't want to have to do all these things. I do them to elevate me, not because I have to, to just get by and feel normal. Right. Yeah. That's, thank you for sharing that. That's tragic. Um, but yeah, you're, you're right. It's crazy how dependent people can become on some of these medications. And, and you talked about um, some others as well, like ADHD medication that can change your, your brain chemistry and your personality as well. Do you want to elaborate on that? Sure. That is the worst mistake I ever made uh, with my health nutritionally. That's, I just, I have a lot of regret over that um, chapter in my life because I just never before it was, did I have a short temper and never since have I had a short temper. It was only in that, that frame of about two years and it didn't help. It actually made everything harder. It made you feel like you had no time. And when you got something done, it made you feel like, well, you should have, got, should have gotten it done even faster. Um, it made you feel like people weren't, quote, on your 